everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are joined by a very special guest. We have Liverpool women's player Kerry Holland on with us today. Kerry, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Good. Um, couple, couple of questions for you, try and get you know people to get, get to know you a little bit better than, and about your journey in football so far. Um, so firstly, you know, obviously signed in January. How are you finding settling into the club and your time so far? Yeah, I've settled in really well. Um, the girls have made it really easy to settle in and they're a lovely group of girls and the coaching staff as well. They've done an amazing job in letting me settle in and I love the city of Liverpool so far. I'm looking forward to when it's actually opened up and um, can actually experience the city properly. But um, no, it's been nice. I've been able to walk around and, and see what the city has to offer and I think when it's open, it'll be a great place to, to live. Yeah, I was going to say that the, how you find the city, obviously it's been difficult to try and get to know new places and whatnot because nowhere's open, but have you got any favourite little spots that you've seen so far? Yeah, obviously nowhere's open, but any any little areas that you like? Um, I've A few of the girls have shown me, um, like the Baltic Triangle area, is it? Um, oh, yeah. So a cool kind of, cool vibe, I think, and it's got some nice coffee shops around there. I'm a big coffee drinker, so... Um, a few of the girls have shown me some some of their favourite coffee spots, so that's been good good so far. And I think I love down by the water and Albert Dock in that area as well. So it's been it's been great. Now I've just enjoyed walking around and and seeing what what the city has to offer. So as I say, I'm just excited when things are actually open. Oh yeah, there'll be so much more to sort of see and do once that happens. Right now, it'll be it'll be good for you to sort of see everything, all the all the hustle and bust that goes on as well. Looks lively, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it's great. I, I loved living there when I was there. It was, it was incredible. Um, well, we want a little bit, obviously, talking about, we mentioned you signed only in January, not been here for too long. Feels like you've been here a lot longer, the way things have gone. It's been great. Um, what, was, what would you say uh, initially sort of attracted you to sign for Liverpool? Obviously, is it somewhere that you've always, always dreamed of playing for? Obviously, the name Liverpool kind of says for itself that the calibre of the club but was that what sort of attracted you to sign? Yeah I think when Liverpool came along it was kind of an opportunity that I couldn't turn down and it's you know I thought it was a great place for me to kind of develop further as a player and it was you know once I'd spoken to Amber I think she gave a fantastic vibe and I really enjoyed kind of talking to her and what she she wanted to do in terms of seeing where I could develop as a player and um the kind of values that she had I think I really like those so yeah no it was one that I definitely couldn't turn down. Yeah obviously you've you've played you know quite a lot of spent a lot of time over in America playing in the in the college setup what how different was it playing football over there compared to playing football over here? Um, it's a lot it's quite different in terms of it's a lot kind of the game's quicker in terms of you've just it's just you've just got to be able to run and run and run um but I think over here it's a lot more technical and tactical and I think that's kind of a bit of the game that I'm trying to work on again and I think America was great in terms of I developed my athletic ability and, and it was great for that but I think in terms of it's been a great kind of transition for me to come back here and and learn um kind of the technical side of the game again which has been good we, I think we, we've noticed that obviously watching you play these last couple of games, you can, you can run all the time. And that's obviously where it sort of comes from. Because I, I think we, we, we spoke to a few players that have, I think it's quite common the whole going to America, learning, learning the development and trade there, and then obviously coming back to, to England. And they, they, everyone seems to say it's so like athletic over there. And then yeah. it must be, was it difficult to sort of make that change to maybe become a little bit more, obviously you'll still be learning the process now, but was it difficult for you to sort of then take that and then switch it to be more more technical and, and, and tactical? Yeah, it, it's obviously, it's it's different and it's a transition and any transition, you know, requires a bit of adjustment, but it's a bit of the game that I'm not trying to lose as well because I think it is one of my strengths and, you know, I love running in behind, like, I think that's been seen so far. 
the girls kind of laugh and say, oh, like, she always wants to run in behind them. So, no, I think like that's a bit that maybe, you know, I need to keep as well. Um, but it's obviously different and it's been great to learn um, under Amber and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, well, you've obviously made a, a great start in a Liverpool year so far, you know, grabbed yourself a couple of goals in a few games, um, just been named Player of the Month in the Championship as well for February. So you couldn't have really asked for, for a better start for your Liverpool career at the minute, could you? No, I keep saying it's been it's been a whirlwind since uh, January, but um, no, it's been a fantastic start. And obviously, you know, it's been a great month for the team. And I think, you know, that's been echoed in the fact that the fans seem to have really enjoyed watching us play as well. And I think that's been really good to see. And I think we've just got to try and continue and build on that and just get as many points as we can from these last few games. And I think just kind of set the foundations for next season and really go for a promotion push. Yeah, well, we hope so as well. What, what would you say has been your sort of key to success in these first few games? I mean, you signed and sort of almost straight away were, were, were sort of into the starting. I think it was the, was it Charlton away where where you made your, your debut? And, um, I came on at half time in that one. Yeah. Yeah, and came, yeah, came on as a sub, and ever really since then, you, you, you've you've started pretty much all, all the games since. What would you say has been that sort of key to to unlock that and and, and get that shirt each game? Um, I think I've just tried to get my head down in training and show Amber um what I can do, and you know, it's just been good to that she's had confidence in me, and I think I'm just really enjoying playing football at the moment and. I've really enjoyed, you know, learning a new position and I'm really enjoying kind of that part of it. And I'm just enjoying playing football and that's kind of the <laughs> the best bit, really. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. That's the, that's, that's the kind of the goal, isn't it? You want to settle in straight away and, and, and progress. And that, that's obviously what you've done. In terms of like a match day itself, then, what does it sort of look like for you in terms of like a routine? Do you sort of have any pre-match rituals I know I can't remember who we've spoken to before but they say they put their sock their right sock on then their right boot and then they do the other side the same way do you have anything sort of like yeah. that, that you do I've, I've not got any of those like weird like superstitions as they say but yeah. um the only thing that I've got is I, I have beans on toast before a game um nice. that's my only kind of like I've got to have beans on toast or you know I get a little bit stressed out because my kind of <laughs> routine's been broken but apart from that no I've not really got anything um kind of I'm not bothered which 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 boot I put on first which <laughs> sock, which sock I put on first um I think it's just whichever one I pick up usually so yeah. Um, yeah no I've not got any of those but beans on toast is my go-to meal and um that's about it really just a bottle of squash usually is is the oh. other one so good choice good choice quite yeah. basic really <laughs> <laughs> I never had any um, superstitions when I play football either that like she just turned up I, I probably woke up like 10 minutes before I was supposed to leave the house and I'm like just didn't I just oh, rocked up I no I have to have like an hour to kind of just wake up properly and like get yourself together and and then um, like I think I always want to like straighten my ponytail as well I think that's maybe my other one um because I think my ponytail's up, I get a, bit, a little bit stressed, but like, it's going to be an unlucky day because I'm not having a good hair day or something. But apart from that, no, I've not really got many, really. Yeah, I think mine was, it, I feel like a lot of people revolve around like food and having like a specific food before they go. I, I think I would always have been, I think it was something weird, like cereal. And it's like, well, you have that anyways, but it would be like the same cereal. And I always remember like, I'd be really really time cautious so for example it'd be like an hour before we kick off I'd always have to have a banana and if I didn't I knew that I would have like a terrible game so it's weird how you kind of like pick up these things where your mind's like no I need to do this otherwise everything's yeah. gonna go wrong. <laughs> no I went through a stage um I remember when I first went to America I went through a stage of having like quite a few and then I remember thinking, like, why, why am I doing this? Like, I'm, I'm thinking about everything way too much. And I was think, I was blaming, like, little things on why I was having a bad game. And I was thinking, I'm just being a bit stupid here. Like, I just need to let go of some of the stuff. I've tried to keep it as to the minimum now because or I, or I have, like, many things that I can blame why I had a bad game. And I'm just like, I'm just being ridiculous here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we mentioned that you were obviously signed in January. You, you were the only sign in January for Liverpool. How, did that kind of make it sort of easier to maybe just integrate yourself in the squad, obviously, with, with there being only, only you signed? And was that sort of easier to get getting to know everyone as well? Yeah, um, I mean, I would just say that the girls have been extremely welcoming from the moment I've arrived and um, I couldn't have asked for any more in terms of being welcomed into the team and I think they would do that the same if there was one signing or three signings. I don't think it makes any difference really and it's just been really nice to get to know the girls and um, as I say, it'll just be nice when I can experience Liverpool fully as well and get to experience uh, Liverpool with them as well, so that'll be good. Yeah, you alluded to it there. Obviously, you've not been able to experience fans at Prenton Park on a match day yet, which must be quite strange, obviously, for, for, for a couple of months now at least. And obviously, we don't know when things are going to be back to normal. So it, it must be really strange. How much are you sort of looking forward to, to welcoming them back when that time finally arrives? I think that's been one of the things that I've noticed probably... Um, it's been in my top things that I've noticed since I've signed of how big of a following, following you know, the fans give. And I think it'll just be amazing when, we can, when I can actually experience that because the girls talk about how passionate the fans are and uh, I'm just really excited to actually see it firsthand. And, you know, it's been obviously um, a different experience without fans, but it'll just make it even better when, when everyone's allowed back in the stadium. And I think that'll just be re a really special moment for us as players and for the fans as well. Is it, is it a different feeling when when you play without fans versus with? Like a, a, a couple of, of people have come out and said before that it, it kind of feels like it's a training game vibes because there is no no fans in there. Is, is it more difficult to sort of switch into that mode of, oh, it's it's game day without sort of having that, that adrenaline around like a stadium that's got noise in and, and things like that? Is it kind of hard to switch into that mode? Um, I think maybe to start with it can be a little bit difficult but it's something that you adjust to quite quickly and I think um, you know on a game day you're just kind of in that focused mind and I always kind of when I'm playing in the game you kind of block out everything else kind of thing and it's one of those um, but obviously I think it's more when you know the big moments of when you score or yeah. You know, it's the celebrating moments when you miss the fans, really. And, you know, when you win, win a game, you want to go and celebrate with the fans. And, you know, I think that's kind of the bit that us as a team are really looking forward to again um, when the fans are back in the stadium, because I think that's, you know, the special moments as a footballer and they're the bits that you kind of, you love to experience. So. Yeah, it's a pleasure having me shouting in the press box when we score. I'm probably the most <laughs> biased um, journalist there, but... Yeah, no, it'll be, it'll be good. we can get fans back in. Um, just finally, then for you personally, you know, what what is it that you want to achieve at Liverpool? What what are your aims for for your time here, and what are the aims for the squad for for the next couple of seasons? I think obviously the the most obvious one is we want to get promoted back into the WSL, and I think you know I think it's where we all feel we belong, and I think it's something that we feel we need to achieve. Um. And I think we're building the foundations now well for next season. And I think if we can just continue this run of form and performances, I think we're in a good good place for next season in terms of that promotion push. So I think that would be kind of my number one on a personal level is just try and help the team as much as I can um, to get the promotion. And I think just continue to enjoy playing football as much as I can um, because I'm really enjoying, from, from the moment I've signed, I've really enjoyed playing football for Liverpool. So... I think I just need to try and keep keep enjoying it as much as I can and hopefully, you know, keep keep contributing going forward and hopefully can get a few more goals and, and set up a few. So no, it's been it's been a fun start and I've really enjoyed it so far and I've enjoyed kind of getting to know the fans a little bit and it's just been a fantastic experience so far and one that I can't you know, I can't falter at all really. I guess you haven't experienced the. Uh, obviously, you won't have done the the uh, the chance from the fans. I would. I mean, we have to see if if one I've gets made up for you. Yeah, I've heard about the. Um, <laughs> I've heard they've got a song for everybody, so I'm I'm curious what 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 mine's going to be. To be fair, but no, I've heard that you know the fans obviously, you know, are very passionate, and I think it's something that I'm really looking forward to experiencing when everyone's allowed back in the stadium. So.
Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Well, yeah, that's everything on the agenda. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Um, no, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, remember to um, like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time with a new video.